In this section, we will learn what modules are and how to use them within our Terraform configuration. While progressing through the course, you would have noticed that our Terraform configuration files have become increasingly long. We started off with resources such as the local file and the random pet to begin with. But since the beginning of the AWS section, we have been deploying IAM roles, policies, S3 buckets, DynamoDB tables and EC2 instances to name a few. For example, the resource blocks that we see here have the definition for two EC2 instances, a key pair, a security group and a DynamoDB database. The two EC2 instances can be quite similar with much of their code being duplicated between the two configuration blocks. When dealing with large infrastructure projects with hundreds of resources, we can still opt to write the configuration within a single file like this. Terraform does not impose any limit on the number of resources per configuration file. However, this would mean that our configuration file will contain hundreds to thousands of lines of code within no time. Alternatively, we can also split the configuration into multiple files within the configuration directory and things will work the same way. We saw earlier that Terraform will consider every file within the configuration directory as a configuration file as long as it has the .tf extension. While this would organize our Terraform code a bit better as compared to writing it all in a single configuration file, there are still a lot of disadvantages in following this approach when implementing Terraform. For starters, it does not fix the complexity of the code that is written within the configuration directory or the problem of duplication. Due to the complexity of the configuration, it also becomes increasingly difficult to update a resource. Updates to one part of the configuration can have unintended effects on other resources. And finally, this configuration severely limits the reusability. If you want to share a part of this code with a teammate for instance, the only plausible way would be to copy and paste the relevant part of the code, which can be prone to errors. These problems can be addressed by making use of modules in Terraform. Funnily enough, module is not a new concept and it is something that we have been using all throughout this course. Any configuration directory containing a set of configuration files is called a module. For example, let us consider a configuration directory called AWS instance in our local machine. This directory is created under slash root Terraform projects. This directory has Terraform configuration files that is used to create a simple EC2 instance in the AWS cloud as shown here. Since this directory has the Terraform configuration files, it is also a module. If we directly run Terraform commands from within this directory, as we've been doing so far, this directory is considered to be the root module. But how does this address the issues that we just discussed? Let us consider a use case where we want to make use of the code written inside AWS instance directory to create a new development web server instance. For this, let us create a new directory called development within the Terraform projects directory. Now, instead of writing the configuration for creating the dev AWS instance from scratch or copy and paste the code, we can use a module block to use the code which is already inside the AWS instance directory. To do this, inside the development directory, create a configuration file containing a module block like this. Within this module block, we can provide the path to the local AWS instance directory which contains the actual Terraform configuration to create the EC2 instance. Since our configuration directory where we will be running Terraform commands is now the development directory, it becomes the root module and the AWS instance directory that we are calling from within our main.tf file is considered to be the child module. Let us inspect the syntax of the module block closely. We use the module keyword followed by the logical name of the module. In this case, we have called it dev web server. Inside the module block, we have one required argument, which is the source. This is the path where the child module is stored. Make a note that in this example, the path for the child module is specified as a relative path with respect to the configuration directory or the root module, which in this case is the development directory. This could also have been the absolute path to the child module. 
We just happen to be using the relative part in this example. In this case, the child module, which is the directory called AWS instance is located under the Terraform projects directory, just like our configuration directory. This path can be defined as a relative path from the development directory by making use of two dots followed by the directory name, which is AWS instance. The source path for the module can hence be declared as dot dot slash AWS instance. Well, that's it for this lecture. In the upcoming lecture, we'll learn how to create our own module and use it within Terraform.